So this is an Ico Model 221 vacuum tube voltmeter. I picked up on eBay cheap. Um, it looked really good in the pictures. Unfortunately, when I got it, you can see there it's been modified. So I put a switch in it. I don't know what the switch is doing. I still have to figure that out. I had to have the schematics. I've got the tubes out of it. I've got the, there's another picture of it here. I had originally started recapping it and re-resistoring it and as I started getting into it and comparing it to the schematic it wasn't even close. I have a new power cord in, on it right now, um, new electrolytic capacitor, uh, such like that. And um, there's the two, two main rotary switches for it. Um, I'll put some new caps on there as required, rewired as required. I have to change all of the um, resistors that are composition if they're wire wounds. I think these appear wire wounds. Um, this was built as a kit. Somebody did a bad job building this thing and I think somebody else modified it. So what I wound up doing, I had the schematic for it. What I wound up doing after a lot of research, I actually found where I could buy the original construction manual for it that told you exactly step by step how to build it. So what I'm planning on doing is just totally taking it apart, um, getting rid of all the crap that the guy put in there uh, that built it, and um, put new components in it and rebuild it basically, rebuild it using the original construction manual. Um, do have the case for it right here um, it really it didn't look bad it's one of those things when you look at it it looks ah oh, really good and then you open it up and it's crap it uses one d-cell battery in the back for the ohm meter but this will be pretty convenient um, when I get it functional for working on my old radios you know using the same sort of equipment they used back then um, pretty excited about it but um, yeah so when I get further into this thing I'll give you an update